Happy Thursday, folks. We're going to get into the latest Detroit Lions news. We're going to get into Broderick Martin, his development. There is some concerns out there. Former great running back showing high praise towards Detroit Lions running back Jameer Gibbs. And we're going to get into some injuries on some players. And we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Trying to get to 9,000 subscribers. Each subscriber counts. If you're watching this and a Lions fan, you might as well subscribe. I mean, that's what we do on here. Yesterday's video was Herman Moore talking about Jamison Williams and his development and what he thinks that should be done for him to get to that next level and coaching and all that type of stuff. So if you like Lions, subscribe right now. Let's get into former great running back, man, Chris Chris Johnson was a great running back. He had over 2,000 yards for the Titans. He was fast. He was really good. He was on the 33rd team's YouTube channel talking with Amon Ross St. Brown and Ickmania St. Brown on their podcast talking about Jameer Gibbs. says, Jameer, man, I've been liking Jameer since he transferred over to Alabama. I was saying I thought he was going to be rookie of the year, and that was before he even got drafted. I haven't seen nobody like Gibbs in a while. That's high praise from a great running back. When when in his prime, he was unstoppable. Running backs in Tennessee seem to be really good. You got Derrick Henry and him. <laughs> they, just, they just get good running backs. But when you look at Jameer Gibbs, it kind of is like a Chris Johnson, right? He's not too big, not too small, you know, around 200 pounds. He's got that speed, flash speed, and he's starting to learn in between the tackles. Look, Jameer Gibbs can be special, and if he can be getting better each game and he is then a player that defenses must scheme around, that's a great, great thing for this offense, Ben Johnson and Jared Goff. When you have defenders that is really worried on your running back, it just opens everything else up. Everything else up for this offense, and we got a really good offense. We're just... Scrapping, scratching the surface with Jameer Gibbs. He had a breakout game versus the Raiders. He talked about how it's getting touches that is why he's getting better and being more patient, following his blocks, understand the speed of the game. Really good for the Lions. We don't know exactly how he's going to be used on Sunday when you got David Montgomery back. And I fully agree that you got to give David Montgomery touches as well. You can't just, you know what, Jameer Gibbs had a great game. We're just going to stop it there because David Montgomery brings a different type of running style. He's a bowling ball, missed tackles guy. He gets you those short yardage. He's a better Jamal Williams. So you can't just give up on him just because Jameer Gibbs is playing great. Play the hot hand. Get this running back room to be unstoppable. We start right now. We're we're trying to get to the playoffs, right? We're trying to really build for the playoffs. So getting these guys on track and getting better each game is so important towards when games really do matter big time when you're talking about seeding and, and hosting and winning a playoff game. So each week we have an opportunity for Gibbs to get better and to get to that elite status in which we really want him to get to that status. So, so important. Broderick Martin was talked about by by his coaches, and, you know, they're trying to get him slowly implemented in here into the speed of the game, being a big boy's game, a man's game, and he's not there yet. It's going to be a while, and it's okay to, to slowly develop Broderick Martin because we do have depth at the defensive tackle position with, like, Isaiah Bugs, John Kaminsky, Lee McNeil, all the guys. You don't have to immediately put them out there. This is not year one of the rebuild where you have zero talent. Put those guys out there. We're in win-now mode. We have the ability to slow roll this thing and for him to just get better each week. Of course, he needs the reps, needs the touches. But at the same time, we need to put the best 53 out there because we're going for the playoffs. It's not rebuild. This is not an opportunity. Well, you know what? We can we, we just put them out there because we've got no one else to put out there. That's not the situation here. 
we have the ability to have him sit back and learn and put him out there in situations for success. And that's what good teams do. Good teams generally, they're not just putting their guys, every single one out there because they have no choice. That's generally the bad teams. Now, if the players are playing, the rookies are playing really good, hell yeah. I mean, you, you got Brian Branch playing really good. So you put him out there. Sam Laporta, really good. Jameer Gibbs, Jack Campbell's getting in there. So if they're playing out of their mind, then you do. But if they're not, it's okay to slow roll these guys. So you don't provoke any bad habits. Get these guys out there with the right opportunity. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about Broderick Martin and his his development right now? Are you concerned? Are you not concerned? Let's do 1 through 10. 1 being you're not concerned at all. 10 being you're really concerned and you think that there's a problem here. I'm going to go with 3, not really concerned about it. I want them to slow roll the development. We do have some injuries on the practice report yesterday. Two names. One, we have seen this name on here since he's been a Detroit Lion. Halapludivati Vaitai dealing with a back issue. It is tiresome. And I think this is why Graham Glasgow is probably going to end up being, he probably is now the starting right guard because Big V just can't stay healthy. The experiment of Big V's over. You got to be able to be able to play a game, and he just cannot stay healthy. It has been like this since we've gotten him. We we've waited, we're patient, but patience has run out. You know, in the next draft here in 2024, the Lions got to get guard or free agency. They gotta they gotta end this problem with the Big V. It's it, this. Thing has got to end. I don't think he's going to be on the team next year. We got to rely on players, and he's just unreliable. Look, I'm not mad at him for not being healthy. It's not like he can control his back issues. But this team, we got to have the best 53 healthy. He's never been healthy. And I'm tired of seeing his name on the injury report. There's nothing else you can do besides. Start Graham Glasgow, you're not going to release him. So, just it's just annoying. It, it's tiresome to see it. Donovan Peoples Jones is on the injury report as well, dealing with rib injury. Interesting because he didn't. He's just came to the Detroit Lions. He was just traded. Was he injured over there for Cleveland? And they're kind of just hiding it a little bit because he wasn't really on the injury report there. Or did he somehow get come to the Lions? And the injury bug stabbed him as well. Don't really know about this one. I don't know if he's going to play on Sunday. It just talked about limited in practice. I'm going to assume he's going to play. But it's going to be limited fashion anyways because he's not going to be out there getting all the reps in the world. This is not gonna, I mean, before I knew he was injured, I was saying 10, 15 snaps. He's going to be slow rolled into this thing. Plus, he's not a main wide receiver. So he's not going to have the same type of snaps than any other person would be, even if he was healthy. It's just not. And so it's okay to slow roll him, but it sucks to see him on the injury report. Any, any player on the injury report sucks, but they're all limited. It wasn't anything serious, and that's a good thing because that's the last thing we need is an injury that's serious to Donovan Peoples-Jones, who we just traded for. We need these guys to be good to go for the Lions for now in the foreseeable future as we continue to make this playoff run, trying to win the NFC North and have a high seed. Got to have these guys out there. Got to have these guys healthy. Really important. Can't stress it enough. But a lot of these players, that was it, the injury report. Those two, everyone else healthy. That's really good to see because the injury report before the bye week was brutal. It just kept getting worse and worse. We've been dealing with a lot of injuries, and now everybody's healthy. But two, hopefully these guys can get healthy in the coming days. Folks, we are live on Tuesdays and for the live stream Lions vs. The Chargers on Sunday, get ready for that. It's going to be a good one. 
subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button. It does help out. With that said, folks, adios.